Alright, we have chapter three, which is deep sleep. I guess we should look at the settings quickly. I'll up the FOV a bit, because people were complaining about the FOV. Thanks, Born in Rainbows. We'll turn off that, we'll turn on V-Sync. No uh, film rain. I don't think I want that on either. I'm going to up the gamma and brightness a bit because that actually helped quite a lot last time with telling where the fuck I was meant to go. And a game that has so little direction, um, that's probably a good bet. Alright, new game. What's the time? Playtime! Okay, guys, I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. Catnap! Please, help us go to sleep, Catnap! We need it, Catnap! Please help us! Sleep! Sleep! Holy shit, that was fucked Everyone up. Everyone knows Huggy Wuggy and Poppy Playtime, but are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters, a limited series cartoon meant to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just... Pull his little tail and... Seems innocent enough. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. And beside them, their little grinning catnap doll. I wouldn't buy my child anything with a mouth that big. Controversy growing, Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap. This is a cool introduction. The production values of this game are great, and they've gone up considerably throughout the game. It's the gameplay that I fucking hate. <laughs> Does this mean another 20 minute chase against Catnap, by the way? Is that what's going to happen to me? Oh, I guess this is us. Hang on, did the cat drag us away from the crash then? Is that what happened? Oh, what the fuck are these? Um, what am I doing? Go. The wall was closing in. Can we, can we, can we not have this mechanic in the game, by the way? The, the arm shit is so fucking terrible. I already hate it again, I've only been playing it for a few seconds. Don't think I want to go down there. I'm guessing I have to platform here.
Did I just die? Yeah, what the fuck just happened? What? This is what I'm talking about with this game series. What the fuck was that? What happened? But, what, what's the point? Why do I, why was that even there then? Like, it's so bad at direction. It's unbelievable how bad this game is at directing you. So I get what I have to do now. This should be lit up and different to these ones. So you know where to go. I thought I had to go up into the roof. Because this looks like all the other fucking ones. Alright, there we go. Nice shower. Uh. What is that? Can I get down there? Oh, I thought I was like a collectible or something. Not that it fucking matters. The thing is, I'm scared to step on anything, because there'll be some one-hit kill bollocks waiting for me around every corner. I actually have no idea where to go at the moment. This is where I came in. Ooh. I guess this way. Okay. Oh, great. Platforming. I love it. Okay. You know what I say, guys. There is nothing better than first-person platforming. Alright, okay. There's the cat. I saw the cat's tail! I'm gonna die. Oh no. Okay, I didn't die. I didn't have to swing, so everything's alright. Okay. Little kitty cat's left me alone. Ah, uh, we need batteries. Alright, alright, alright. I will say, uh... Okay, there's a per there's a turquoise tape to find here for it to watch as well. Okay, I guess we should try and find that. It'll be somewhere bullshit. Okay, batteries and tape. Well, there's a battery. There's the other one. But before we leave, let's look for the tape. That is true, actually. There is something worse than first-person platforming, and that is isometric platforming. Like, platforming in, like, a plane, like an RPG maker. I actually played a game like that off-stream recently, and I couldn't play it. Like, I loved the gameplay, but as soon as there was platforming and isometric, I couldn't tell what height things were at. And I was just, like, constantly dying and constantly having to go back to the start of things, and I was like, I can't do this. I physically can't do this shit, like, at all. Oh, it's right here. All right. All right, Miss Harper. Please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Well, like any night, all the children were getting asleep. It was peaceful, quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. Nightmares happen, I know, but this, I mean, dilated pupils and quivering lips. The way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear, her hand and mine, it felt like her blood was boiling beneath her skin. She saw something, too. Something horrible. She... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Miss Harper, 
We'll provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. But this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes! A monster, she said, said that it was colorless. Gosh, I could feel the poor little heart pounding. For her, it was right there. And her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. I, I wanted to talk to her, see how she's doing. I, I just, I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised, Miss Harper. There are many concerns we must address at this time. But vitals show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. No! Well, pardon me if I'm not comforted by that. <laughs> Just bring my little girl back to me. <laughs> well, I can see this launch of this toy went really well. Alright, let's do these. I'm Bubba Bubbafint. An elephant always remembers. Want to know what I remember about you? <laughs> I'm Bubba Bubbafint. An elephant always remembers. Bubba Bubbafint. Hang on, there's a phone ringing? I, like, I don't have this phone, right? Okay, we need a green thing. Huh. Oh, it's the green arm I need to use. I'm an idiot. Hello? Hello? Hey. I don't trust this child. It's probably best we kill them if we see them. Whoa! Did you do that? I guess that's where Catnap found you. I know you're probably mad at Poppy for not letting you escape. I'm gonna fucking kill that doll. You. When I see that doll, I'm gonna fucking you kill her. This isn't the child, is it? Fuck you, Ollie. Nice to meet you. Fuck you. Just like every other prick in this place. What's out here first? What's the chick huggy wuggy called that I didn't realize was the chick huggy wuggy because I can't tell the difference between them apparently? <laughs> Kissy Missy. Wow. They really encapsulated the uh, fucking awful feeling of children's television. Grab the handle and rotate the beam. Oh no. Holy shit. Okay. Well, thanks to Twitch chat, I figured that out. Not thanks to probably the worst described tutorial I think I've ever seen. Holy shit. Holy shit! That made absolutely no sense whatsoever. This is astonishing. All right. Hey, I'm Chicken Chicken. Want to go outside and hang out? It's looking pretty bad outside. I've never been outside before. Will you come with me? Here, follow me. This is a welcoming place. Okay.
Oh, okay. Off we go into a lovely safe place, I'm sure. That's the sound you like. That's what, that's what you sound like when you have to go outside too? Yeah, me too. That's the sound I, I, sound, that's the sound I make when I play Poppy's Playtime, actually. My name is Elliot Ludwig. When you look around at the world today, what one thing do you think it needs more of? I asked around once. Money. I never have enough. Understanding. I can never get any. Faith. The common man has lost it. Each answer was different. And I could perhaps see some little truth in each, but I think each was also missing something. Something simple. You see, not one of them could muster a smile. A smile is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. For it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid. Do they have a death star? After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile, they deserve to love, and they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co, I announce... Playcare! Our very own on-site orphanage. This can only have gone really well. only that. It's a school. A playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface, dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile? I'm sure giving the uh giving the reclusive billionaire the ability it's to me again. Shut up, Ollie, I'm talking! Cool place, right? The kids used to live here. Now look at it. Anyways, do you see that statue in the middle of the room? Take the stairs that go under it. There's a really cool room in there that powers literally all of Playcare. I can give you a key down there. I'm sure giving a reclusive billionaire the ability to build a orphanage away from the prying eyes and regulation of the government, uh, where he can keep children under his regime for uh, untold numbers of years, will only go exceptionally well, and nothing bad, w nothing bad will happen at all. And this is very much Bioshock vibes for sure. Like, I, th I think they were probably going for that. Um, Bendy still does Bioshock better. But uh, maybe this will maybe this will do as well. Maybe this will do it well. I, I definitely think the production values have upped dramatically across the three games. Like, this looks and runs so nice and smooth. It looks great, like, and it runs at a good... I know I don't talk about frame rates much, but it does run at a good 60 and it looks lovely. Right? Like, there's, it's just it just runs really well. Like, I, I can't... I can't fault it for uh, how much money they've clearly put into the uh, thing. A kind, caring soul, Bobby Bear Hug shows compassion for everyone and for everything. People and places and things, large or small, are all receivers of her love. Each is enriched by the attention and affection, in turn so is she. Hi. Oh, fuck's sake. I didn't realize it was like fucking more than two things. This is Dog Day, the sunny, strong, and determined leader of our critters. Each trusts him to find the bright side in any situation, to have a friendly word of encouragement. Should they feel down, he'll always keep his friends going, no matter what. Dog Day says, Bet. Fuck off, Dog Day. Uh, Picky Piggy says, What's more important than play and learning? Picky Piggy knows the answer. A playful body and keen mind are fueled by what's put into them, which is why she encourages her friends to eat a well balanced diet. Secretly, PB and J's are her favorite food. Hi there! I'm Picky Piggy. Let's eat! 
We have Hoppy Hopscotch. Unafraid to hop where others might sit. Hoppy is the friend everyone needs to maintain their energy and enthusiasm. While someone la with sometimes loud or impatient, she'll always hop beside her friends, even if it means slowing up once in a while to keep their pace. And we have Crafty Corn, a conscious observer of both colour and creativity in the world. Crafty Corn understands the importance of art and sharing it with others. Crayons, pencils, paint, or words on the page. Unicorn can see beauty in anything imagined given shape. Hey, I'm Crafty Corn. Can you help me with my painting? No. Bubba. Can, you blue, can you shut up? Bubba Bubba Fant. Bubba Bubba Fant is the brains of the critters. Bright and attentive. He keeps his friends steady and always steers them to make smart choices. That way they all might grow up to be bright and brilliant, each in their own right. I'm Bubba 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 Bubba. Alright. So far... Shite puzzle aside, nothing too bullshit. Just go under the statue! Okay, can you shut up? God, I hate when games do that. I hate it. Just fuck off. I wanna walk around. Leave me alone. We're going under the statue, all right? We're gonna get eaten by a cat, probably, that vomits nightmares. I'm guessing it's worse than that. Oh no, it's another puzzle. Hello? Oh, we got the key to the gas production zone. got the key. Now the question you're probably asking yourself is, where does it go? Well, head back out. You should find a door just to the left of the cable car you took down here. So, the question I'm actually asking myself, Ollie, is what the fuck is this place? How can I leave as quickly as possible? And why am I listening to you? Who's probably a dead ghost child. I'm gonna be honest. The Hour of Joy. Well, this is an exciting place. Gas production zone, I'm guessing, is the gas that spews out of the cat that gives people nightmares that they stored next to the children. Excellent. What could go wrong? What could go wrong, chat? Don't forget your mask. Great. Wonderful. Welcome to the gas production zone. The beating heart of the whole evil play care system. All that gas you see coming from the machine is made right here in the factory. It's called the Red Smoke. Right now, it's all headed off to the right. We need to make that Red Smoke go left instead. That's how we can get to him. The machine will probably have a few dumb safeguards for you to work around, but I think you can do it. I'll call you once it's done. Find a way to divert the gas. Alright, well we need a green and blue power block. Oh, great! I was gonna say, it's not gonna talk, is it? Great, wonderful. Oh. I'm guessing we're gonna get gassed by the gas and experience some horrific hallucinations as the cat chases us or something like that. I, I can't imagine any other outcome here that isn't that. Oh, there's the green thing we need. Oh, there's a green cassette here. Oh, it's right here. Oh no, we're getting an updated one of these fucking things. Extended wire length. Swapping hands is easy. Oh no. I can barely cope with two. The prototype has air jets. To break long falls. Okay.
But watch where you land. Not all ground is safe to touch. Thank you. All right. Time to look around. Well, that's not too helpful. I don't really know what I'm... I, don't, I didn't really understand any aspect of that tutorial, I'm going to be honest with you, again. So, this is a great start. We haven't been up here yet, so... Oh, we can't go up here? God damn it. I love the way... This is an impenetrable barrier, by the way. This slight fucking thing. I know this every game does that. This isn't a criticism of Poppy's playtime. That's a criticism of, like, nearly every fucking horror game I've ever played. Can't... Can't walk slightly up that incline. It's too crazy. There was a big red... Big purple... What colour is this? Purple? Purple. A big purple thing here. Oh, I see. Alright, okay. That's what that's for. Got it. Got it! I look forward to something terrifying happening. I don't look forward to something terrifying happening. <sighs> Holy shit, that was close. It's not grabbable. Do I need the other hand to grab it for some reason? I guess so. I guess it's too far away otherwise. Huh. Um. Hmm. Can't reach over there. It's too far. Can't grab any of these. I just don't like what what is the purpose of this? Can I jump to the pipe and then maybe grab it from here? Let's try that. There we go. All right, now what? Bring it closer, then jump over the wall. All right, there we go. We got it. We did it. We did it. Oh, another one of these fucking things. Another one of these fucking... But I don't understand even how it worked the first time. All right, so that's the thing I have to aim at, I think, probably, right? Um, <laughs> but the thing that I need to sh hang on this there's, there's two of them oh god there's two of the fucking things now what did that do anything didn't open oh it did open this so what what did that do I guess turn the power on a bit maybe like a small amount of it maybe I, I, don't, I don't know I'm going to be honest. Is it doing something? It might be doing something. I press the button. Okay. Oh, great! We're about to get chased by the cat. Probably, no, my luck. Hi. Oh no! Someone killed the power. Okay, I sent you another key. It's under the statue. Use it to get into home sweet home. Then once you're inside, find the building's backup generator. Good luck! Okay. The key the statue is back the other way, right? The statue is the thing in the middle of the square. Because I was about to spend 20 minutes wandering around here, by the way, looking for the thing. The 
whole power for this place is off. Oh, that actually scared me. Restore power in home sweet home. Okay. Where is home sweet home? Not this. Was Home Sweet Home the place that looked like... Sort of like a cult suicide room? Knowing my luck, it probably is. Or is it this? I'd like it to be this. If I had to pick somewhere. It is. Okay, it's the house. Excellent. Where are their pictures all gone? Oh god, I don't like this. There's pictures of kids. Looking rather upset. Okay. Oh, great! The purple gas. The stuff of nightmares. I don't for one minute believe any of this is real now because we fucking inhaled the shit that comes out of the cat's mouth. We haven't got any arms anymore. Our arms got cut off by the gas. Is this... <laughs> this looks suspiciously like PT, by the way. Like a, li like a little bit. A little bit like it. Not like exactly like it, fortunately, but still a little bit like it. Tragic news this morning, as of 9.45 a.m., local authorities report that the body of a young boy has been found on the estate of the late Elliot Ludwig, an esteemed toy maker and originator of the Playtime Company. At this time, an identity for the child awaits official confirmation. This is found literally in an upstairs bedroom in a large duffel bag, officers on scene report that the remains appear to have been disturbed. Organs as well as key bones from the skeletal structure were reported missing from the body. It is unknown at this time whether this extraction was, in fact, the cause of death. Look at the cat's claws on the floor, by the way, guys. Look, see? Following recent events, Playtime Co. was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say. Quote, It's sickening. Elliot Ludwig was a great man. And those who knew him understood that he was not capable of violence, let alone what others now claim. He had a deep love in his heart for children like this one making the actions of whoever planted this body all the more sick. We look forward to clearing his good name, both in the public eye and in the eyes of the law. Stay tuned for more. That was not his the newsreader's voice there. That was not the newsreader's voice. You gotta have dead kids in your mascot horror game. That's like a rule. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, shit! Why don't you call me a little more? Despite Playtime's proclamation of Ludwig's innocence, many believe his reclusive and mysterious nature displayed over the previous decades lend suspicion to this claim. When questioned, Ludwig's neighbors indicated that he would often return to his home in strange hours of the night and depart again before sunrise. Some believed he was sick. Others that don't move. Don't move an inch. I'm running. I don't like... I don't like this. Something is chasing me. This is a dead end. Okay. All right. Okay. Hi. I feel like he's just fucking with me at the moment. 
He hunts you. Great! This is the dead end. It's just looping, isn't it? Go, 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 go. Something's in the room on the left. Something's in the room on the left. What is that noise? Guilt haunts you. But I can't go through here? Shit. Shit, 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 shit. This is quite intense. Get up. Get up. Oh, he's down there. I see his tail. He's a Get big up. boy. He's a big boy, this kitty cat. I really hope we get a checkpoint before we instantly die um, for, for literally no reason, which is the Poppy's Playtime meta. Poppy's Playtime meta is run from something, have an indecipherable route in front of you, die, repeat that three times until you see this small little hole in the wall to the left of the route, go through this hole in the left in the wall, get, keep running forward, die again because you can't tell where to go again and then do it another 17 times until you eventually find the correct route for everything. That is the Poppy's Playtime meta so far. All right. I can't put the tape in though, because I don't have any arms, Huggy Wuggy. They have been severed. Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the hall, no. sit in the mess for lunch, or no. watch our children play no. and learn to their little hearts' content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, oh, this is us. your conscience we're is finally getting the better of you. Yeah. May you descend into the dark. The cat the knows dark. something about us that we don't Finding know. All that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors. Each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow. Their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic. Watching and waiting patiently. For their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left. A world that's theirs I can't move. now. Welcome home. Here we go! See what I mean, by the way? I love that. I love the mechanics. They're great. They're just. They're just great. I love them. Oh, was that meant to happen? Was that meant to happen? That actually might have been meant to happen. Oh my god, that was meant to happen. Oh my god, it was meant to happen. This was all in the entryway. Thank fuck for that. The thing is, that was so bullshit that I could believe it was an actual gameplay mechanic.
Sudden dead end. You're dead now. Fuck you. Oh, we have a gas mask now. That's probably handy. We've got all sorts of bullshit looking puzzles here, though. That I can't wait to solve. That was cool, by the way, him climbing out the TV. I like that. What do I need to do with this thing? Aha. Does this gas mask gonna need a new filter like every 17 seconds, like the one in Metro? That's by far the worst bit of Metro, by the way, is your vision mists up all the fucking time because you're wearing a gas mask and you have to like jam filters into it every seven seconds to make sure you can actually fucking breathe. I quite like the Metro games, but I don't like the fucking gas mask shit. It's really annoying. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. Can I reach through into this room? Oh no, it's glass, okay. Well, there's gotta be something here then. Can we just move shit out of the way? Yeah. Why can we do that to those four items, but no other item in the game? That's what I need to know. This is the life's great mysteries. I'm not sure I want to watch another VHS tape if the fucking thing that we... Is Huggy Wuggy dead? I don't know. He took a nasty tumble in the factory when we dropped that massive block on him. But I don't know if he's dead or not because I didn't see. It's not like the, 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 the little fucking skinny chick who we shredded in the paper shredder thing. Paper shredder. I don't think that's what it was, but it's not like her. Aha! There's our cassette. Subject is stable. Designated 1322. Two. Clear neural abnormalities were detected in his recent checkup. Though highly irregular, we've pulled him from the home sweet home just before lights out to perform. What are you doing with my friend? I. What are you doing out of bed? How did you get in here? Is Kevin sick? Why did you take him away? I. I. Yes. Kevin is very sick. Very, very sick. But we want to make him better. But he can only get better if we take him to where we can provide proper care and give him proper rest. Well, do you really think he will be okay? I should think so. We're good at what we do, son. We paid attention in school, learned, and got our proper rest when we needed it. Just like you need it now, I should think. Come now. Let's get you on back to bed. Okay. Why is a 54-year-old going to be a child in this cutscene? And I promise you, your friend will be alright. When you see him again, he'll have never been better. Alright. I'm not quite sure why we came here. I guess just to watch that. I've already forgotten everything it said, by the way, in that tape. So we're off to a strong start here. Apparently, as soon as I make coffee, I get amnesia. Understandable, right? Okay. Oh, I haven't been up here yet, I don't think. What the fuck is that noise? That's where I came from, right? Yeah. 
What did that, did that achieve anything? I can't really tell, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have absolutely no idea what that did. Oh, there's a male one of these things? I guess that makes sense. I do not like them. Okay, I can't open this properly. Huh. I'm not really sure what the purpose of this entire section is. I mean, there's got to be something here. I thought there might be something hidden away, but, um... I don't see it. And I can't get in here, because that's, like, a locked window. Can we get up here? I don't see anything to grab hold of. And I need a bounce pad, right, to grab with this one. The fire sounds like Pete's, it's horrible. It sounds like little Pete's. Oh shit. I panicked, put the gas mask on, sorry. Alright, well, this is new. This probably is going to power half the thing at least, right? I'm guessing we put both of these in and it does it, it does the first half of the thing. But we need to put them both in and press the red button first. And Kitty Cat is around here somewhere, unfortunately for me. Okay, we can't go this way. I hate the way the doors close behind you. It literally makes me shit myself all the fucking time. Get up here. Yeah. Am I? That looks like a... The grab points are so hard to distinguish from other stuff. They just look the same. Hi. Do you have a battery in here? You're, I've heard you're nice. People said you were nice. Are you actually nice or are you not nice? I can't go over to her, so... That's good. Oh, I can grapple on that, surely. Yeah, I can. It's just really hard to tell. You returned? I guess this is all directed at me, because we used to work here, right? And I'm assuming we've done something fucked up. Or otherwise we wouldn't have come back here in the first place. We're going. That looks like a chase to me. I hear it breathing. I hear the fucking thing breathing. It's got a big fucking cat breathing sound that it makes. Alright, that's the first thing powered. It's gonna chase me here, surely. any of this. I love the way I was still attached to that then, by the way. I think the cat was down below then. It made, there was like, cat related sounds. You know, like, Pete's. Right, well, that's one one of the batteries is. And there's something in here? We just gotta save. There's another VHS recorder here. And there's a green, one of the green things. I know we need the green, the green. I'm looking around for the cassette first. This place is quite huge and quite overwhelming. 
I'm gonna guess the cat ate everyone. All the kids. Something I don't understand about all these mascot horrors is they're always making the most fucked up shit, right? At these fucking facilities or whatever. Usually it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Like, okay, you made you made a big giant cat that sprays liquid nightmares everywhere. Why? And, and then you ask the guy and he's like, eh, something to do. You know? Yeah, but that only opens that. It doesn't give me the fucking tape, does it? Alright. Very slowly, we're gonna look for the cassette. While I lose my mind. We should ban science, and then none of this will happen. If we ban science, or people owning their own companies, then none of this will happen. It'd be great. Perfect. Flawless plan without any repercussions whatsoever. In the intro, we could also, in this instance, just ban children. There's the cassette. Just ban children. That's what I suggest. That's my plan. For world peace. Ah, and here they are. Well, of course. They'd never miss this. Who's going away? Yes, there's no image for this one. This week, Dr. White here has selected our very own Samuel Lee. Yeah. Now, before he goes, let's all give Sam one last goodbye, shall we? With me. One, two, three! Goodbye, Sam! Okay. Not great. Not great. I'm gonna guess Sam isn't doing too hot. Go on a limb and say most of the children here probably aren't doing that well in the grand scheme of things, you know. That didn't sound good. There's a lot of background noise here, lots of peats and lots of. Uh... All right, I can't get to that charger at the moment because there's shit in the way. What is this open? Oh, they have babies as well? They killed babies? Wonderful. If this works. Oh my god, it does. All right, we know that in the back of that cat thing is one of the batteries we need. It's not a cat, is it? It's a bear. And it turns with us. Loading. Coming back was a mistake. Not loading back was a mistake. Coming back. I'm glad the pink thing doesn't want to kill me all the fucking time. It makes a nice change. There's gonna have- there must be a way somewhere around here, by the way. Okay, well, I solved it. I was about to say, there must be a way of open- of getting this battery somehow. But, uh... I don't know where it goes, for the record, but I'm sure it's somewhere interesting. Can we open this? Yeah, we can. I will say, the design aesthetics of this place are pretty good. Um, they, they've done a really good job on the atmosphere here. And it isn't one relentless bullshit chase either. Like, it's been done relatively well, all things considered. Am 
Alright, well that's one. We need another, unfortunately for me. I'm guessing we need to power the thing on the stairs here, but... Oh yeah, we can. We can. It's gonna close again now. We have to do this all over again. It's really good. Absolutely no idea where this second battery is, but there was our drop down point into the battery room. I think this is it actually. That we were meant to take, I think. I think we took the longest possible route round to get the battery then. No idea where the second battery is. But yeah, I quite like the uh I think that thing's quite cute, the uh the pink lips one. It doesn't want to kill us. Alright, absolutely no idea what I'm looking for now. I'm just gonna hope it- does this all come to the same place? I think it probably does. No, this is new. Friends forever! Wow! Just like all real life friendships. I don't see this fucking battery anywhere. It could be in one of these side rooms that we just haven't looked in yet. It could just be knocking around somewhere, you know, just chilling. Instead of having to pull it out the arsehole of some kind of creature. So we'll look at, we'll check out these side rooms. The Huggy Wuggy Pillow head things are disturbing, but very plausible as merchandise. Huh. I have no idea what I'm meant to do with most of this shit, I'm gonna be honest with you, like, it's really confusing. Okay, we got it. Well, that was intense. But I think we uh, may have found the right way, at least. Battery's gotta be in here, right? Or in the vent, maybe. A missing battery. main doors now, and probably give us a horrible chase sequence, I'm going to assume. That was quite difficult, in terms, not in terms of like what you had to do, but just in terms of finding shit. Alright, so we got this room now. We just got a checkpoint, which worries me greatly. Oh no, it's more of this bollocks! More of this stupid fucking... Press E to use the turret? There's a turret? Oh no. I hate this so much. Can you can we put can we turn our flashlight off? Is it what is the flashlight button? Oh god, the existence of these puzzles is like so fucking bad. I hate it.
Why can't I fire this? Aim at the power pole and pull the lever. Why did none of these tutorials make any fucking sense? They don't. They just, what does that mean? Pull the lever. What fucking lever? Is there a lever I have to pull separately to launch? Oh, there is. What fuck? What the fuck is that design? Did Who thought that was okay? No, I, I can't even pull the lever. I can't even pull the lever. Okay. I did it? Question mark? Oh, there's more. Of course there's more. Of course there is more. Alright. We got two here this time. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've absolutely no idea what I'm gonna be aiming at here. But it doesn't seem like a lot to aim at. Oh my god. Alright, we did it. We did it. We did it! Alright. This has gotta be a chase, right? We, we do a chase. We haven't had a chase. We haven't had a trial error terrible chase yet. So surely we need a trial and error terrible chase at this point in time. Otherwise this wouldn't be Poppy's playtime. I can, okay, right. So the puzzles, I don't like them, but that's mainly due to me being terrible at them. I thought the first one was really badly explained, but now I know what to do. It's mainly just because I'm bad at puzzles, right? I, that isn't that isn't the biggest. Hi. I thought you were dead. No, no, let go. They didn't do anything wrong. We're actually here to help. <sighs> this place makes her tense. Oh, it's, it's the other one. I can't I'm tell the colors of these. Could help you get this far. He's the reason we found you at all. So anyway, none of this too none of this is too bad. The train crash hurt us both. You've been through so much. You deserve an explanation. Come on. All right. Okay. Hey, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. Okay, so Poppy can access the ones with the poppies on them, I guess. I still think this is all a front for a heroin den, because poppies make heroin. Well, opiates, I guess, in general. I'm, I think this is all an opiate smuggling den. Alright, that's all I think it is. Listen, I'm not your enemy, but I can't just let you leave. What's happening down here is bigger than all of us. And I need you. So we can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you. They've tortured us. They didn't act alone. They're disciples of the original. The prototype. Do the honors? The prototype's the claw thing we saw pull the girl under the door in chapter two, right? I mean, you guys don't have a posable thumb, so you're going to have to rely on me quite a lot here, I think. I don't want to put this on. What, what, what are you waiting for? Just for me to come back on? Okay. Prototype knows we're coming by now. If you try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god-awful case for so long. You have no idea the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you. How capable you are. You killed Huggy. You killed Mommy. Oh, Huggy is dead. You freed me. You are perfect for this. Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. I don't trust Ollie whatsoever, by the way. I reckon Ollie is like some fucking AI or some shit. 
How do I turn this fucking flashlight off? <laughs> I've had it on the entire time, but it's just actually, it's, first time in a horror game a flashlight's annoying me. I want to go back there. First, go back to the home sweet home building you were just in. You should be able to find a big power cord somewhere around the porch. Okay. Grab it and plug it in underneath the statue. A big power cord. I'm guessing something's going to stop me. Judging by the infamous music. Alright, where do I plug it in? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm scared that if I left, if I if I right click and it's the wrong thing, I'll have to go and get it all again, which I think is the case. I just don't know where to put- I, I can't tell what the hole is to put it in. This is the sort of shit I talk about, by the way. When I'm talking about how vague half this shit is. What the fuck am I looking for? I'll, I'll try. It's, it's probably one of these. There we go. Awesome! Look at that! This Remember isn't safe. that generator you turned on inside of Home Sweet Home? No. Well, that was a backup generator for just that building. And every building should have one. Home Sweet Home's backup power and routed it here. We're already halfway done. Hmm. But where to go next? Everywhere is pretty dangerous around here. That playhouse especially. Yuck. So, your best bet is probably the school. Catnap usually leaves that place alone. Sending you the key now. Okay. All right, where's the fucking school? We got the playhouse. I'm guessing mm, this is probably this. No, that's not a school. That's not even a building. <laughs> I is this the school? I'm worried if this is the school. No, it is not. Thank fuck for that. I don't know if we'll finish this today. It's definitely taking me time to get through it, but that's okay. Like. We'll just do my best. This this must be the school here. I'll just do my best, and I want to try make sure I like look at everything and read everything and stuff, and find the tapes and whatnot. All right, this looks terrible. Wonderful. So we got something else to contend with in here that we haven't seen yet. It's not the cat because the cat is scared of this building. Although this looks very cat-like, I'm going to be honest with you. This is Mr. Light speaking. Fuck you. Please excuse the interruption. Students, remain in your seat until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. Well, whatever this thing is, it's probably really fucking bad. Let's be honest. Alright, so we've got something we need to power up with this, but I don't know what it is yet. I'm guessing it's probably down here, right? Yeah, it is. All in the same room? Alright.
Alright. I'm very wary that something terrible is going to happen in here rapidly. Alright, there's a battery over there. Oh, the tables are all tortoises. One day, I'll play a mascot horror game where my true deep fear of being chased by a giant Etch-a-Sketch that draws its own face repeatedly in different horrific faces will be realised. If, if, if a developer watches this, make, a, make an Etch-a-Sketch horror game. Obviously not Etch-a-Sketch, just call it something else like Scribbly Diddly or something, I don't fucking know. There's the other battery. But we need to get in from above, it looks like. She looks like a nice lady. Wait. I recognize you. Yes, I remember. You used to work here. How are you? Alive. Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety. Seems like a nice lady. I'm sure nothing terrible is going to happen. Who the fuck is Barb, by the way? Stuck. God damn it. I don't want a full tutorial on how to get it. Oh, it's not where I thought it was. Ah! No wonder this is fucking bullshit. It's here. I would never have gone out there again, because all of the same. They've always been in the same fucking room. Until now. Where are the kids? Please, where are the children? Are they in the same place as the employees? No. Are the children safe? Yes. Oh. Can I see them? No. And that was it. That's all he'd tell me. <laughs> Probably because he knew I'd kill him all. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> she seems like a reasonable human being. Human being? Question mark. I don't think anyone here is a human being except us, actually. Not even Ollie. I'm gonna be honest with you. Ollie is definitely not a human being. That's where I came from. Alright, we're looking for a battery. Okay. I feel like this is a guaranteed way to get my hand really, really fucked. Can I get it through here? I don't think so. I think my hand's too fat. Just smash it into the glass a few times, it'll be fine. I definitely need to get in there to get the power for this door. Can't go through here? Nah. <laughs> I missed the flashlight now, it's turned itself off and won't ever come back. Let's, put the, let's just put this on repeatedly until it, maybe it'll fix itself. Doesn't that look like something's behind that? This looks like a secret in Paper Mario. Is there anything in the roof we can climb up? Is 
Am I being an idiot? No, that is... Hang on. No, okay. Oh, here. There. I can't even complain this time, because there was a clear labelled way to go this way, and I just ignored it like a complete idiot. Oh, hi! Not a good listener, are you? I mean, you didn't actually tell you me to leave. like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs, too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. Alright, listen, bitch. You didn't actually tell me to fucking leave, okay? You didn't tell me to leave, right? I need to do this again. You didn't tell me to leave. What you told me was, like, you said, maybe you'd like to leave. But can you actually, can you stop being, like, doing these passive-aggressive things and just be like, can you leave, please? Don't just be like, hmm, maybe you should leave. Be like, fucking leave, okay? I don't, like, you, you gotta fucking... Go get the balance right, you know? Just spell it out for me. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. Press my button to hear some facts on anatomy. Did you know that there are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison, the Earth around the equator is almost 25,000 miles. The smallest bone in your body is the states in your ear. Want to learn more about human organs? Pay close attention in class. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn. All right. Well, we're not going to listen to her anymore. Subjects. Press my button to hear some facts on anatomy. All right. We got a one hit kill bullshit chase coming, I'm guessing. Yeah, we do. A one hit kill. I, I knew it was coming. We can't not have a one hit kill bullshit chase in Poppy's Playtime. Oh, there we go. I just cheese that, right? Getting stuck on random shit game. I'm taking this with me in case I can cheese one of these without needing it. Does that if that makes sense? Because I think I cheese this battery the whole time. I have no idea where to go here. Fuck off. Bitch. She's definitely glitched, I think. Yeah.
I'm dead, I think, here. That's pretty bullshit. That's pretty bullshit. And I bet there's no sec checkpoint for this entire thing, right? And there was, I was, it was, I was pushing my luck a bit, but I don't think it was that, I don't think that was that fucking close to her, to be honest with you. Oh, great! Yep, yeah, no checkpoints. What? I fucking hate this shit. I don't really understand what I have to do. I'm guessing I have to tag this, tag the thing above the door, and then put the two magnets in, right? The two batteries in. But that's not easy to do with her right here. <laughs> Grab it! God, I fucking hate how long this takes. Oh my god! Put it in the fucking hole, you prick! Oh, we're doing this again. We're doing this again, I think. Because she won't fucking step away from that now. Yeah, we have to do it again. We have to do it again. Because the fucking game's controls are garbage when it comes to this shit. They're just so fucking bad. Holy shit, that's obnoxious. Fuck you. Fuck you! Like, half the fucking time you try and grab something, it just doesn't do it. Or it just does that as well. Throws it on the fucking floor. If I die, by the way, I might not. I might be done. Just for the record, because I'm not doing this shit again. <laughs> Put it in the why? Why doesn't it go in the fucking hole? Holy shit! At least 50% of the time, it doesn't work. Just doesn't work. Like, apparently that counted? Are you fucking kidding me? Go. Go, 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 go. This is not working anymore. I can't stop her anymore. Oh, thank fuck for that. Jesus Christ. She broke the rules. She did. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. Two tries. Happy hopscotch. Wanna try hopping to the moon with me? I wouldn't mind. The controls were fucking consistent with the arms, with but me. they like One, two, three. They just don't fucking work Again. sometimes. One, You're like clicking on something two, and the the hand would just go three. flop around like it's nothing. Nope. Listen, this won't stop until we make it to the moon. One, two, Oh no! Don't look at your feet! None of that matters! Again! Again! Jump! Jump! Where the fuck am I going, by the way? Caution finger guns required? I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, this! What is this? Oh, it is a finger gun. That's weird. Why, when I'm not under pressure, does the gun actually, the fucking hand pick things up? But as soon as I'm under pressure, the hand's like, no, I won't. I'm right on it, but I think I'm going to just go the opposite direction. All right. Let's just get this shipment dropped and go. That was just one building. You have like four buildings left, right? Hello, my name is Elliot Ludwig. Would you look around? <laughs> I take it you're not a fan of this place, are you? Nope. Never liked the feel of it. I mean, don't you think these kids deserve some real sunlight instead of 
floodlights and painted skies? Hell, we're not even allowed to talk to these kids. Isn't that... <clears throat> <sighs> Sorry, Stu. <laughs> Sorry? That doesn't sound like the rich I know. Well, trying to stop being so pissed off all the time. My wife says I'm a lovely man, but I gotta control my temper. I don't get why these tapes so, are just like a picture, by the way. <laughs> You're just different, Rich. Like, I'm not asking for a fully Honest animated cutscene, but like, it, but it seems unrelated I a lot of time. I always like that about you. Yeah? Well, you're one of the few. Hmm. You know, Richie, with my like, this guy's dead. coming up, hmm, they've been pushing hard for me to choose my replacement. I'm actually thinking about giving the role to you. Really? Yeah, really. Nothing official yet, but I think there's a decent guy beneath me. All that gruff. You guys should fuck. Honest, it's Pride Month. Man. Go on. You prove me right? Uh, let's say your chances are pretty good. Wow. I, uh, gee, I don't know what to say. I, I'm just glad to see not everyone in this place has it out for me. Not everybody, Rich. Not everybody. It doesn't matter if he's married. It's Pride Month. It's, you're exempt. It's not, it's not gay if you do it during Pride Month. <laughs> More of this bollocks now. Oh god, I hate this shit. Incline! I didn't even fall in the water! I've got to do that all again. Fuck me. I mean, it wasn't that big a deal, but fucking hell. I guess it saves the tape. I, I just slightly laid down because I walked down a crack. I don't really know what to do here, as you could probably tell by the fact that I died. Um, like, I see this, but I don't see where to put it. Oh, right here. Well, that was easy. Oh, uh, and now I can do... No, that's the finger gun. Oh my god, choose the right fucking hand! It's la it lags! Alright, okay. There we go, there we go. Alright, now what? Does it power all of them? Oh my god, I've got to do the whole thing in one go. Fuck me. Alright. Time jumping puzzles are the best kind! That's a lie, by the way. No one has ever said that correctly. In human history. Oh no, more of this bollocks. These I hate. Like, I actually hate. Do I jump down here? I don't know. Apparently yes is the answer, because i got to save. Alright, more, more of this bot, more of this indecipherable bullshit. I'm totally going to die doing that on the way back. Alright, that's that has to go there. How do I get back from here? Okay, here we go. Cool. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna finish this today if that's what's left of it. Because I won't have time, I gotta do other stuff. This is taking me ages, this is really long. I will say, it's definitely better value for money than it was originally as well. 
because chapter two is like fucking really short. I genuinely don't know what I'm doing here, by the way. This could, at this point, I could, it could be anything that I'm doing. Uh, this one isn't lined up with that one, I guess. It kind of... Oh, it isn't, because I need to do... I think I have to turn this one again. I think I got this one wrong. I'm dead. Alright, I think I think that's gonna line that all up now, probably. Where's it stopping? Oh no, that I think that's right. It's gonna it's powered the elevator, right? So I can just go around and ride it now. If I die here. Oh thank fuck. Oh no! Oh, I can do it from here now though, right, really easily. There we go. And now I can, it'll ride me up automatically. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Alright, we did alright, we did alright. What is that? Oh, hi! Catnap? What are you doing? Is he T-posing? Oh, he's got- fuck, he's gone. Now we're in the playhouse. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh yeah, we have a gun. That's right. That's what I fucking thought. Oh, there's a cassette in here, apparently. Allegedly. The cassettes are getting more bullshit, though. I feel like I spend most of my time in this game looking for cassettes. I've got a list here. I should just look up. I should just use the fucking walkthrough that's on my phone. I should just look at it and, tell, and it tells me what, what to do. Let's have a look. Okay, that's fine. Oh, 
Oh, this is like, apparently this is like... Apparently we can't do this one at the moment. We gotta like, get into a chase sequence or some shit first. Hi, I'm Bobby Bearhug. One I love you to the moon and back. I'm crazy about you. I'm lost without you. I've been lost a long time. Oh god. Please, take me with you this time. You won't leave me, will you? Hi, I'm Bobby Bearhug. Wanna know how much I love you? Oh. Here's a cassette. Okay, this is Catnap, uh, experiment number 1188. What's his real name again? Ah, okay. <clears throat> hey, Theo. How you doing, bud? Normally I'd have Dr. Sawyer do this, but he's, uh, out, let's say. So you got me until they find his replacement. First off, congrats. This is officially your fourth year in your new body, and you've made some real progress, pal. I was told that when you and the other smiling critters, you know, dog day, picky piggy, yada yada yada, were added into play care, that you weren't really getting along too well with the kids like everybody else was. But look at you now. The kids love you. And that red smoke, I mean, that's fantastic, isn't it? Is his, uh, voice thingy still broken? Theo, nobody's going to save you. This prison is where you belong. We'll let you out here and there to go see the kids in play care, but your home is here. And as for the prototype, his home is in the labs. This is your life now. Get used to it. Are they putting convicts inside dolls? To, like... Look after children? If so, that's one of the worst plans I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Might be dead, guys. This is gonna suck, isn't it? I'm guessing if these get us, they're gonna like burrow into our flesh or something. This is quite horrible, I don't like this. This is quite intense as well. You have to be constantly aware of your surround- This is bad. We got a checkpoint at least, thank fuck for that. Oh, uh, we have to put things on those, maybe? Oh no, that turned it on. If they're on fire, they don't damage you. Or kill you. It'll be a one-hit kill. This game doesn't have damage. All the little peats. No! Why did I do that? These things suck. Oh, I see what I have to do. I have to put the balls on the things, right? Or not? 
What does that do? That sounds like a human laughing, that one. I mean, I'm guessing... Oh, I see what I have to do. God damn it! Fucking ambush me on the way. Well, I get what I have to do, at least, now. This is gonna suck. I can see this being quite frustrating. You guys can assume that if I'm stuck on something for more than about three seconds, that I want help, by the way. Because I fucking hate repetition so much. Yeah, this one isn't working. Why isn't it on? I can't turn it on. It's just broken. Yeah, I, I can't. It's, I think it's bugged, unfortunately. Like, I don't think there's anything we can do about this. It won't let me move it, and it's not on, like the other one is. I can't even tell which ones are after me or not at this point. No! Oh my god, if this this is such garbage. Oh my god. I think we're going to reload and do this again. Because the angle it's at has made it almost impossible to do anything. Okay. I still don't know what that did, by the way. I still don't know what I've achieved. That I was meant to be achieving. Or anything like that. I have absolutely no idea. Like, it opened this up, but how do I get to that? I don't... Is it down one of these? I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. I guess here? Can I jump to this, or...? Okay. Is something happening? I mean, something is happening. I don't know what it is, but something is happening. Oh, I see. I can't press this button, right? We're from here. Oh, I can. Oh, that's fine then. I thought you had to press E on those buttons. Oh, we got a checkpoint! We got a checkpoint! Great. Those little shits. Giggling away. I don't think we're out for this fucking shithole yet, though. Do we need to turn to the power here as well? Like, it was, that was, it was like, part of the thing. Oh, no. Hey, at least... At least we only died once. That was pretty glitchy, that section. It felt like the enemies couldn't run away properly to where they wanted you to go. This is bad, by the way. There's fucking holes everywhere, look. It felt like the enemies couldn't properly retreat you, where they... You're a Pappy's angel. Oh, hi. Come to save us. How's it going? Nothing left to save. Not here. Bird catnaps from the angel. They are home. A mermaid pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching. Waiting. Hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin. Yeah, I thought they might. Eat away at you bit by little bit. <laughs> Fill what feels empty inside themselves. That thing. Catnap. The prototype is his god. And this is what he does to heretics. These little toys follow Catnap to avoid that very fate. And in return. They are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it. The prototype's control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me. Please. Oh, shit. 
shit. Well, I'm dead because I've not... Th this game does such a, such a bad job at directing you. It's actually insane what a bad job it does at directing you. Where was I meant to go? Where the fuck was I meant to go? The other door had a fucking key on it. Do I need a key? Where's the key? Where the fuck? This sort of shit annoys me so much. It's like the most basic of basic designs. And it's such... It's fucking ridiculous. If the floor falls out, it should fall out as it's happening to me while I'm standing there, so I don't have to fucking run around. There shouldn't be, like, a fucking situation where I fucking need to be standing in the exact place for the, tr the chase to progress past a fucking second, like, the first second of it. Holy shit. Holy shit. I hate it. I hate that so much. I've got to listen to this prick again. I know I don't. Thank fuck for that. Okay. The problem is I ran past this and it didn't count last time. Well, anyway, it's time for another bullshit chase, I'm sure. I played another game where I ran through a kid's play area being chased by a bird this week. This is going to really, 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 really be terrible, isn't it? This is going to be worse than all the other ones so far. Because you're going to be running and dealing with stuff that you can't see around corners that one-shots you. Oh boy. Checkpoint is going to be like fucking a few minutes before as well. Yeah, I played Indigo Park. The che By the way, the chase in the play area in Indigo Park is also dog shit, by the way. Um... The chase in the play area in Indigo Park is shit. Indigo Park is pretty decent overall. Um, but the play area is... Um, it was the worst bit but by miles. Because it... The play... Indigo Park, right, is great. Up until the point where it tries to do a chase like this. Again. And it's like, Whoa, my mascot horror! Gotta do a shit chase! And it does exactly this kind of shit that this game does. Again, like, again. And I was like, well, that wasn't fun. But Indigo Park, up and uh, except for that bit, is is probably the best mascot horror I've played, other than maybe Bendy and the Dark Revival. Maybe. I'm dead, I think. I think it's too fast for me at this point. All right. I hear the babies. Where did they come out again? Okay, so uh, they were they were in a different. Where am I going? I'm surely dead, right? Surely I'm dead. Surely I'm dead. Call me surely. This isn't over yet. Did it. Second try. I thought for sure the dog was going to catch me, I'm going to be honest. Dog day says, fetch! Go, go! As far as you can! Why are you just standing there? You can't be here. You can't stay. That was, by the way, the little creatures burrowing inside him, that's cool. That's cool. Like... Hello. Hey. I'm fine. I'm great. Best I've ever been. Body parts? I'm really glad you're okay. I don't want to lose any more friends to this place. We're not friends, Ollie. Hey, I hate you. you see the shrine? Catnap made it for the prototype. See, before Catnap turned into Catnap, I guess there was some pretty serious accident. He almost died, but they say that the Okay, so he was probably a worker here. Freedom in the process. In catnap size, the prototype is a superhero and has saved this place. So catnap treats him like a god, killing everyone that opposes him, us included, if we're not careful. That shrine, did it scare you? 
I didn't. I could barely see it, to be honest with you. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're going to the counselor's office instead. It's not ideal, but it should have enough juice. If you can get that generator going and plug it in, I think we'll be done. And keep your eyes open for catnap. Every shadow and every flickering light is a hiding spot. He always stalks his prey first. He'll take away anything you have to defend yourself. And when you're at your most why didn't he kill me earlier? He was hunt. fucking with me for like 20 Good minutes luck. earlier. Alright, where the fuck is the counselor's office? I have absolutely no idea. I assume it's not this, but maybe? It is. But yeah, the chases in this game are uh, by far the weakest part of it. Like, I wouldn't say I'm super invested in the story. Like, I think it's like... <laughs> I feel like all these games have the same plot, more or less. I'm gonna be real. Like, and I know that isn't 100% true, but it feels that way a lot of the time. Um, like, I'm not invested in the story. Like, it's, it's like, okay, whatever, right? That's what it feels like to me. But, um... I think the monster designs are cool, and I, I think the voice acting's good, um, and I think there's cool horror set pieces in it, but I don't I don't get the crazy popularity. I don't. I, there's, every mascot horror game at this point, right, is kids kids are dead, um, kids are dead, uh, spooky corporation, uh, cover up, um, various other things. That, that's like that's it. What did I just fucking do? Emergency alert system. Playtime company. The message is for all Playtime company employees. At 11.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, an unknown hostile force was declared present within the Playtime company facility. Personnel <laughs> are to begin enacting emergency <laughs> evacuation protocols immediately. Leave all personal belongings. Do not engage with any hostile individuals. If no exit path is available, seek shelter in a hidden location. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body and remain silent. Do not look through any windows. Do not open doors for any individuals. Do not make eye contact. Is that a tornado? We don't have tornadoes in the UK, so we don't have a tornado warning system. Open the doors now. The hour of joy has arrived. Alright, open. Open! I guess not. I don't really know. Hang on, didn't I put a battery in this? I guess I need another battery? I can just stand here and get it, right? There we go. But yeah, like, Garden of Ban Ban is like fucking... Uh, ha, ha, they're, they're not exactly the same, these games, but they have, they're all fairly similar. Lovely. All these little plushies that got impaled, they deserve it, by the way. If they're anything like the other fucking ones we've seen, they deserve it completely. Yeah, the UK doesn't really have any weather that's a threat to life whatsoever. Uh, people do die in floods and things like that occasionally, and strong winds, but we don't really even have, like, hurricanes. We have them, like, every decade, maybe. Didn't like that. I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not like that. 
Did that door just open? I can't seem to... What am I meant to be looking at? There's like music playing like I should be looking at something, but I don't see anything to look at. I guess none of these places are where I need to go. Joy! We need a battery to get in here. I don't think I can pull the other one, unfortunately, and then get back in here. At least I don't think so. Oh, have I been in here? Hmm. Yeah, I can't take that battery because otherwise I won't be able to get through. are those? I don't, whatever they are, I don't like them. I'm going to take that. I feel like this must be where I need to go, but not? Oh, there's a battery there. Oh my god, that was so hard to see. That was really hard to see. Holy shit. Okay. It says run on the wall here. That's not a good sign been doing a lot of that. Bunzo Bunny. You know what I'm glad this, this hasn't had much of? Swinging. You know. Because the swinging in this was so bad in chapter 2, like holy shit. But there hasn't been really any of it here. The, the, the arm jumps in this are actually way easier than the swinging. Like, the arm jumps are fine, for the most part. I suppose you need momentum, but they're not, like, terrible, you know. <sighs> I don't know where to go. Oh, Chrism. Chrism, you scared the shit out of me! But yeah, I, 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 I... This is just a... I, 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 should make it, I should make that as, like, a, a rule thing, by the way. Like, don't spoil the story ever, because some of you did spoil the story multiple times today. And that does annoy me, but I don't, I don't tend to yell at people, so, you know. Unless I hate them. Uh, however, um... Generally, puzzles spoil, story no. Alright, now... I can jump across to that, right? Then I can grapple up to... there. Alright, we did it. What did that do? <laughs> Why was I doing this in the first place? Oh, I see. It's made like a walkway. Okay. Hooray! We can get across. Hey, checkpoint. Puzzle solved. We did it. We won. We beat the game. Hooray. Let's never talk about that again. I don't have to shoot any more children today. Because that bit sucked. Ah, uh, I'm not even sure it sucked. I just didn't like it. Fuck off. All right. So is this the counselor's office? We have another. We don't have a. No, oh, we do have a pink VHS player. Lovely. To watch another thrilling family movie on. Oh, it's right here as well. Let's fucking go. You told that. How was your right down? Sorry, I sneezed. It was, uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was, well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. 
I felt right at home from the second I entered. You open that door the first time and you just know you're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home? Yes, and we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing! You'll be perfect for... Oh. What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Complications? What kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um, the form says... testing. <laughs> what does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graper, we deserve a better explanation than that. Don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I... I don't. I'm sorry. Everything's fine. Okay, so what did that achieve? We're here to turn the power on, right? Aha! Well, we got a key. And this door was locked. It's not anymore. Hi! I'm Crafty Corn. Can you help me with my painting? Thanks! Now, can you give me some red? More red, please! Out? You're hiding more red from me. Give it here! That's so likeable. I can see why this place really took off. I love the way the game's giving up completely on the flashlight at this point, even though it's automatic, the flashlight. The flashlight is automatic, and it's like... Do you need one? I don't think you do. You needed one when we were stumbling around in broad daylight, but when it's pitch black, you don't need it. I think the cat's gonna come after me in these vents, I'm gonna be honest with you. This feels like a place where... I see the fucking red fog up ahead. One thing I think about these, these chapter-based games as well, is lately they all feel... Each chapter feels very different and adds its new, like, sets of rules and things. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, here we go. And adds its new, like, sets of rules and way the game works and stuff, which isn't necessarily a terrible thing. I, I'm not, like, I don't think that's, like, super bad or anything. But each chapter feels very distinctly, like, it was worked on after I hear Catnap. After all the other chapters. I fucking hear him. He's here. He's fucking here. Alright, we got a fucking... The problem with this shit is I have to do this without being able to see anything. They all, they all feel like separate games. They feel like they were put together afterwards and the story has been written like on the fly on the way. I see what to do. Okay. Can, can you fuck off, chair? Oh, I need the, uh... Oh, no I don't. I need that. That isn't what I thought I had, but I'll take it. Now I need the other one. Yeah, I don't necessarily think it's terrible that they're so disjointed. Like, it's not like... Okay, I've got two of these now. Oh my god! Thank you so much, Inky. Oh, I gotta do this again multiple times, I think. I don't know how I'm gonna do this at a good speed. Did I do it? I did. Thank fuck for that. Alright. Oh, great! More puzzles! Spend 20 minutes on a fucking puzzle, and then you get another puzzle immediately afterwards. Fucking God, I hate these. It, it's just walls of shit. Just so much bollocks. All right. Is
Is this is this right? Hang on, why do I need to... What? 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 This is even more confusing. There's three. But one of them... Connects? Alright, that, that, that's probably right. Thank you for the raid, by the way, Zoe. Alright, that hits that. Oh god. Fuck you, game. Fuck you with your stupid fucking bullshit fucking... Oh my god, grab the battery. It's gone? Hang on, what happened? Did it eat the battery? Where the fuck is the battery? It's gone! The entire fucking battery vanished! What does this do? What is that? What have I d What have I done? So oh, these. I see. I see. Okay. We don't... Okay. Alright, that's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Alright. Hell yeah. So is this... I guess I need to throw this down to break it, maybe? I don't really know. Because I need three batteries in total, I think, here. I, I, wish, I wish I could move this a lot easier than, I, than, I, than I'm managing. Hooray! Oh no! Did it fall through the wall? I think it fell through the wall! <laughs> For a game that has made millions, this has plenty of game-breaking ridiculous bugs. All the time. For a game, I have come across so many fucking broken softlock bullshit in this fucking game, by the way, since we started playing it. Like, it's actually insane. I have to do this again. I have come across so much broken softlock bullshit in this fucking game. It's insane. We've had bosses stop spawning. We've had bosses audio glitch. We've had all this random shite happening. Why isn't this tender? Thank you. I guess it just takes... Oh my god, I did it again. We've had enemies vanish mid-chase. Uh, which was, I'm going to be honest with you, pretty beneficial in the grand scheme of things, I, I guess. But still. I'm, I'm gonna just do it off this one, maybe, this time. That worked better. Hooray! I don't really know what I'm doing here. I guess we just leave. I'm guess I'm hoping the door back the other way just opens. Because the door on the way back 
should just take me back into the main hall. Yeah, this is open now. This should, the exit's this way. Whether or not I get killed by the cat or not on the way remains to be seen. Okay. How do I get out of here? Also, why did... How... Th this is where I came in! <laughs> so I don't go back the same way? Then why open that door at all? Just to fuck with me? I have, again, I am at a loss on what to do and something that should be so fucking basic at this point. I, I, I... I was like, yeah, we can leave. Great. No, we can't because there's another fucking bollocks thing in the way. Uh, can't go this way anymore because there's no, there's no batteries left. All the batteries are gone. So there's got to be something else I need to do. where we go. This is the way to go. I still can't get over how utterly ridiculous the level design is in this fucking game. It is like, it reminds me of playing like fucking build engine games in like fucking 1994, where you spend like 10 hours trying to find out how to go on a straight line. Well, the cat was there and scared the shit out of me. I don't know if I died or not. I feel like that was scripted, but you never know. I guess it was scripted because it didn't do the fucking. Oh, we're tripping balls. We're tripping balls. Uh, this is breaking my computer. Why is this breaking my computer? Like, suddenly the game is running at two frames per second. What the fuck? I can't move, by the way. I think I fixed the cutscene, though. There we go. I fixed it. So I just went into my graphics card settings and manually forced the whole thing to 60 frames per second. I'll be honest with you, Poppy, I haven't got a fucking clue what's happening right now. I'm tripping balls. Do you even know what's real? looking at the roof. Oh, that's why I'm looking at the roof. <laughs> I 
I mean, I was trying to, but the, the game was doing loads of bollocks with fucking locked doors and shit. In fact, I'd have been out quicker if you hadn't knocked me to the floor and sprayed fucking hallucinogenics all over my face. You basically shot yourself in the foot there, cat face. I do not trust Ollie whatsoever, by the way. I'm gonna be honest with you, I have absolutely no idea where this is. I guess it's the bit that's... I'm hoping it's the bit that's slightly illuminated, and they decided to actually do some uh, level design based direction, but I'm not so sure. I like the fact that this just goes on for- this is an infinite cable. It's very impressive. Okay, that should be enough power. Now take that huge battery to the gas production zone, so we can get out of here. It's the door by the cable car you arrived on. Good luck! I actually don't know where I arrived, I'm going to be honest with you. Is this the cable car? I can't actually tell. I think it is. Oh, uh, we, we've been there. It's this one. It's literally the one that's red over here. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. By the way, we haven't had an autosave for a really long time right now, I'm a bit worried. Because I have to stop really soon. <laughs> and this is going to be the boss fight, presumably. Yep. Did it just save? I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh, he's so happy! Are the loading screens saving screens? I really hope they are. Alright guys, I'm gonna be real. I have to go. I know we're really, really close to the end, but I have a stream, another Patre a Patreon stream I have to do so that I get 10 minutes so I can't let everyone down. So I'm really sorry, but I will have to finish this another time. Uh, hopefully it sorts itself out. Hopefully it has saved. If it hasn't, I guess it's just tough shit on me. I'm gonna have to replay a big chunk, right? But I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, there's no manual saves in this game. Shatner. Shut, shut the fuck up, guys. My favorite mascot, Shatner. Thank you, Lost Dead. Thank you, everyone coming in. I don't know why those alerts are fucked at the moment. I'll fix them after this.
Hang on, doesn't he climb the elevator? Is this broken? He's meant to climb. Why does everything I do break? Like yesterday, we had some crazy breaks yesterday with that game. Yeah. Yeah, the people. If it was your first experience, I've got footage of this already with with the with the fucking cat, so it's fine. From the other stream. This game is really fucking janky for something that... Hang on, is there nothing up here? Is it not loading in? Guys, it might not be loading in. Okay, there's the loading screen. Hopefully that fixes everything, alright? New objective, survive. First objective is to watch this tape, because we never did. So let's do that. Log code 24459. In relation, experiment 1006. The prototype. Stubborn as he is, and always silent with each passing session, I'm still uncovering fresh data nonetheless. Today's discovery... <laughs> End of log. Hmm. Ready to talk now, are you? I possess a question. Go ahead. Do you feel anything? <sighs> this question referred to what exactly? You stick us, beat us, tear our flesh. It's quite an impressive vocal range. Valuable beyond all measure. I cut and prod and burn at it. And I get closer with each session. So speak. Or don't. Fight. Or give in. Regardless, I learn something new about you every day. It excites me. Thank you. You thank me. Absolutely. I learned something new about you every day. Okay. That was vague as ever. But that's okay. Alright. Let's figure this out. Well, you need to go in there to power that, I'm gonna guess. What's up here? Oh god. I gotta be sprinting. I hope I don't have to do this on the fly, otherwise I'm fucked. Oh, that's steam. Okay. Good. Okay. That's steam as well. Now, in between the hallways, there's those two side rooms on both the left and the right. There'll be green power receivers in those little rooms. You can block off the hallways before Catman gets to you. Try them. Yeah, I understand, I think. Oh, I need to power this one, right? Good. You see that guy? Use those. Okay. It'll be hard to tell what's real and what's fake. Okay, I get it. 
So these two are on, like, permanently at the moment, right? These two are... Okay. So these two are, 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 are keeping him out. Shut up! I'm trying to think, Poppy! Okay. I get it. Okay. So we have four batteries. Four holes in here that we're gradually going to have to fill up over a period of time. These two are currently active, right? Which means that they're safe. And he can only come from these two directions currently. But as we progress, we're going to need to pull some more things. We can't pull out of this one because we're going to need the charge to, ch to block off these two. Fuck. Okay. Um, all right. Um, that's... Oh, God, this is going to be intense. This is going to be absolutely fucking intense here. All right. Um, but we're going to run out of batteries. At some, well, not run out, but we're going to be... So... This one goes in there, this one will go in there, and like that, the fight will be the same while that's going on. But then I'm going to need to disconnect like this one or this one for the third slot, and then both for the fourth slot. Okay. Oh, hi. Alright, so he can only come from two directions right now, even if it sounds like he's behind me. That's the real one. What am I doing? Oh my god, the fucking garbage fucking jump controls struck kill me again. Why didn't that work? I went the wrong way. I went the wrong side. Jesus. Alright, this is gonna suck. And you actually didn't say that whatsoever, actually, at any point. There's two things in that room, yeah, yeah, yeah. One was already on. That one was already done once. I have to do this every time as well. Oh, this is gonna piss me off so much. Oh my god, this is gonna be... Shut- Oh no! We have to listen to her shit every time?! All right, that one needs to be charged as well. There's one in here. All right, that's important. Can I pull this back all the way and just have it in a position? I can. All right. The other one. Oh my god, the fuck! If the jump in this wasn't as garbage, this would be way easier. Um, where the fuck is the other battery gone? Oh, I took it out of this. Yeah, okay, but that's just for the lights. I don't care about the lights. All right. All right, we're gonna try again. Oh my god, game! Please, please, for the love of God, actually do the thing you're meant to be doing. What do I need to do in the interim? I have to do the stupid tutorial shit every time. That's so fucking ridiculous. It's unbelievable. Oh, there we go. There you go. That's the one I was trying to do last time. That just powers this, which we've already done now. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so there's only two ways, and there's only one real one that can come this early on. Getting up here... Getting up here is the main problem, because it's just so shit. All right. There's only two ways he can come from right now. I think he can come from up there, I'm gonna guess as well, by the way. Well, that's the real deal. Game, I swear. All right, that got rid of him. Okay, that's not real.
No. No. Okay. Get in the hole. Get in the hole! Game! I swear! Get off your bullshit! Shit game. I hate it. Oh, shit. The last battery. Okay. I've got to do this. I'm dead because I don't know what to do. I can't pull it out. What do I do? This is bullshit. There's no way to stop him. There's no way to stop him once you put the battery, fourth battery in. What's the point? Because the street, the steam doesn't work, right? I think I'm dead, guys, because I can't get rid of these hallucinations quick enough, I don't think. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'm alright. Okay, this time I shot him. I just want to point out, by the way, that my hotkeys have never worked at any point during this entire playthrough. They're completely glitched. Can't, I can't change weapon without using the mouse. <laughs> Which makes that even more stressful than it was. Restore power to the gas production zone. Where the fuck is that? Where's my arm gone? <laughs> Alright, catnap is defeated. How long did that take? 30 minutes. Could have been worse, I guess.
Okay, now what? I feel like this might be completely broken again. Guys, you see this? What is happening? <laughs> oh, hang on, is something doing? Yes! It didn't break! Yes! For those who missed it, by the way, um... Uh, earlier, we replayed the bit where you walk in here and Catnap comes at you, and Catnap didn't spawn in, so there was loads of ominous music and no Catnap. Catnap just didn't load in before. And the slowest elevator in history, that is true. I have no idea where to go now. Um, maybe through here? Oh shit, tell me. This is it. This might be interesting. Oh, there she is. I was like... Because of your co-workers. You want to know what happened. And why. This. This is your answer. We called it. Tower of Joy. Okay, that's Huggy Wuggy killing all the workers in the lowest res possible image. And that's the bendy chick doing the same. And the little guy is eating someone alive as a group. And there's the headmistress chick killing somebody. I'm back to Huggy Wuggy. And I haven't seen whatever the fuck that is, I don't think. It's like a jack in the box with like a robot head. There's Catnap. Among the hordes of dead children. There's a lot of bodies. That was actually pretty cool. I remember hearing every moment of it. It went on so long. So agonizingly long. They tried to hide. To run. Anything to stay alive. I remember their cries. What's going on? Why is this happening? What are those things? <laughs> Senseless slaughter. That's all it really was. They killed everyone. The guilty, the innocent. Didn't matter. All of that death didn't fix anything. And then, once it was all over, Drag those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they ate the bodies to stay alive. The prototype has to die for this. That's gone. For everything. So the prototype is what made them do all do this, I guess. Seeing as they all seem to like worship it. As we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? You don't want me or Kissy Missy. 
whatever her fucking name is. Oh, she's gonna send us down, I think. All right. Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something. I think Kissy Missy might be getting squishy wishied. All right, I've got a lot. I've got a lot to say about this. Poppy's Playtime continues to be something that has very high production values and a very, very interesting concept behind it that only actually delivered on the concept being remotely interesting in this episode. Episode 1 and 2 didn't have a plot, as far as I'm concerned. It was just, like, various, barely, like, con like put-together nonsense. But now things are actually starting to take shape around the third episode, which is fine. And the plot has been decent. I wouldn't say it's, like, groundbreaking or anything, but it's okay. Um, monster designs continue to be the game's strong suit, and the production of the monster designs looks great. It is, however, utterly littered with game-breaking bugs. We came across so many sound bugs, so many characters breaking, so much random bullshit in this playthrough. The fucking librarian chick didn't spawn, the fucking cat vanished at one point. Just random shit not loading in, random shit not triggering, sound breaking and things going across the fucking map for fucking hours. Like, it, it feels like the whole thing is held together with string, despite the fact on the surface it appears to be of a relatively high production value. Um, this is a, this is the best episode. Um, the puzzles in it, I don't like them, but they that's mainly down to my own incompetence rather than being bad puzzles necessarily. I don't think they're bad puzzles. Um, the um, uh, the gameplay sucks. I'm gonna say it. It's all just... It's so bad. I hate it. I don't understand why mascot horror games can't have good gameplay. I don't understand. It's like a line. You can't have a good gameplay in a mascot. It's like a rule. Like, changing arms, for some reason the hotkeys are bugged for me, so I couldn't do it fast. So that was a fucking massive chore throughout the entire thing, especially under intense pressure in that final sequence. And in the Weeping Angel sequence, where you have to fucking zap things. Sometimes when you zap an arm directly on target, it doesn't do anything, or it doesn't grab the thing you want it to. It just sort of flops around near it. It's really bad hit detection. It just feels really shit. Um, the fucking, ch the fucking chases. I don't think I struggled with any of the chases too badly in this one, I will say that. But the shit in the fun house, where you're running from the little critters, possibly had the potential to be one of the most obnoxious things in video game history. It wasn't because I got lucky and managed to escape on the second try, but I've seen other people on YouTube rage quit it because they're just like, they just pour out of every orifice. And the first like 15 times you don't know where you're going, so you have to memorize it as you go. You know, um, uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's there's fun things to like in the way it's put together um, with the story and the characters, but it's I don't I just don't understand why these are so popular. I don't I don't understand. I don't get it. I feel the same about FNAF. I feel like this, I feel the same about FNAF. Like, I feel like it's. Um, a cool premise buried under terrible gameplay. Um, and this, this, this is definitely the best of the three. I'll give it that in terms of like the gameplay. There wasn't any chase, like the, the, the chase with Mummy and the second one was like by far the worst thing in the game. So nothing here was as bad as that. So that's good, I guess. It's 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 going upwards. I'll give I'll give this one a 6.5 just like I've given all the others, I think. They're all in the same sort of ballpark.